The first recorded Mothman sighting occurred on the cool evening of November 12, 1966. Five men were preparing a grave outside of Clendenin, West Virginia, when a winged humanoid figure descended from a nearby tree and flew down between the group of men, before quickly ascending above the tree line and flying away. Three days later, the most well-known encounter occurred in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Two young married couples were on a night drive near the West Virginia Ordnance Works, an area known by locals as the TNT area. There they passed the old power plant, where they saw two glowing red eyes in the distance. The car slowed to a stop as they tried to figure out what it was they were looking at. The creature in the distance appeared to be 7 to 10 feet tall, with a human-like body and wings. The creature stood there staring at them, before taking off. The group panicked and sped away, but the creature pursued them. They drove over 100 miles per hour trying to escape from whatever it was that was following them, but the creature continued to follow them until they made it into town. After taking time to compose themselves, the two couples decided to go back and investigate the TNT area. They reached the armory that was next to the old power plant, and the creature reappeared. It let itself be known by letting out a loud shriek and began trying to attack their car. They tried to drive away, but the creature landed in front of the car, blocking their escape. When the headlights of the car shined upon the creature, it appeared to be frightened by the light, and it took off and disappeared into the night. The couples made it safely into town a second time and went right to the police to report the mysterious creature they encountered. Deputy Halstead followed them back to where the first encounter occurred, but there was no sign of the creature. When the deputy went to radio an update of the situation, a loud shrieking noise came over the radio. It was the same noise the two couples heard the creature make earlier in the night. The deputy quickly shut off the radio and left the scene to file his report. The sheriff called a press conference the next day and told the press of what happened the previous night. The press dubbed the creature the Mothman, after a villain from the Batman TV show. On November 27, 1967, Connie Carpenter left a church service and witnessed the Mothman on her way home. She was so traumatized by the incident that she could not stop speaking of the creature's devilish red eyes. Soon after, she became the first of many Mothman witnesses to be harassed by strange olive-skinned men dressed in black suits. Newspaper reporter Mary Heyer interviewed many of the eyewitnesses and wrote about the Mothman phenomenon before the men in black tried to silence her and end her investigation. Heyer was continuously harassed by these mysterious men until her death. On December 15, 1967, the Silver Bridge that connected Point Pleasant, West Virginia and Gallipolis, Ohio collapsed during rush hour traffic. This resulted in the deaths of 46 people. Official reports say the tragedy was the result of a combination of the bridge's age, poor maintenance, and the increased traffic load. However, many reported seeing the Mothman before or during the collapse. After the Silver Bridge collapsed, sightings of the Mothman came to an end. John Keel was a journalist who went to Point Pleasant to chronicle the Mothman phenomena. He researched Mothman encounters and he published his findings in the book The Mothman Prophecies, which was later adapted into the movie of the same name, starring Richard Gere. Along with many locals, Keel hypothesized that the Mothman was a precognitive being that was sent to warn people of impending tragedy. His book and movie were responsible for bringing the Mothman phenomena into international spotlight. Others believe that Mothman and the unfortunate events that occur in the Point Pleasant area are the result of a curse placed on the land by the Shawnee, Chief Cornstalk. After the Battle of Point Pleasant, the war chief made peace with the American settlers. However, the peace only lasted a year before a group of American soldiers assassinated him. Before his passing, Cornstalk cursed the surrounding area with his dying breath. Other theories include that Mothman may have been a mistaken owl, or even a mutated crane caused by the chemicals left behind at the old chemical plant in the TNT area. Some people think that the Mothman may have even been an alien, because there were numerous UFO sightings reported during the 13-month-long Mothman phenomenon. It is even said that it may have been an undiscovered animal, or simply the result of mass hysteria that was fueled by the media reporting sensationalized eyewitness testimonies. Despite the lack of sightings of Mothman in Point Pleasant, there have been recent sightings of Mothman that include outside of a mine in Freisberg, Germany, before the mine collapsed a few days later. A Mothman sighting also occurred in Chernobyl before the nuclear meltdown, and Mothman was even said to have been spotted during 9-11, flying through the smoke after the first tower collapsed. These events fit the theory that Mothman is a precognitive being that tries to warn others of impending tragedy. However, we believe that the Mothman and similar entities might feed off this tragedy. They can sense it coming and arrive to prey on the misfortune of others. 
Random sightings aside, only one city can compare to the Point Pleasant phenomenon. Since 2016, there have been over 30 reported sightings of a winged humanoid creature in the Chicago area. This monster has been dubbed the Chicago Mothman. These sightings are happening at an almost weekly rate, and those familiar with the Point Pleasant Mothman are worried that these sightings may also be an omen of disaster to come. Despite all of their tragedies, Point Pleasant has embraced its legendary past. If you visit the town, you will find a Mothman statue right across from the one and only Mothman Museum. The small town also celebrates the Mothman Festival that occurs on the third weekend of September. This year, we were fortunate enough to visit the festival for ourselves and even got a chance to explore the TNT area. Be sure to stay tuned for those videos, and next time you see something in the sky, it may be a bird, it may be a plane, or it may be the Mothman. Thanks, strangers, for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more strange content every Wednesday. Also, check the video description below for additional reading and sources for this video. And until next time, stay strange. <laughs>